Alright, so I believe that means we are live. Hey guys, Mitchell from Game Frontier, and it's time for another daily challenge. Let me mute this so I don't echo. And, uh, yeah. Hey, what's up? Uh, so, Macros86 has a good idea. He says, why don't you do a practice run or two on stream so that, you know, people who join late, you know, they, they get a chance to, to see the daily challenge. Sometimes people join late and, uh, you know, they, they join in and it's like, you know, five minutes before the challenge is over. So, we're going to do a single, one single, no matter how bad it is, uh, adventure run. And, uh, let's, uh, let's just go ahead and do that. And then, after that, it will be the main event. It will be the daily challenge. Mitchell, have you played Path of Exile? No, I haven't. A lot of people say I should. I just never got around to it. Okay, so, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna drop this just to get rid of that. Uh, let's see. Do I really want to waste the bomb? No. No, no. Not gonna do it. Dead. Oh, I should say, by the way, uh, you guys will be proud of me. Uh, I did, in fact, get to hell on uh, on the PlayStation Vita version. So, something that I've always tried to do, never succeeded. I, in fact, did succeed on this one run that, unfortunately, there is no video proof of. Uh, but, I did do it. You have to believe me. I swear to God. I died very, very quick, though. <laughs> very, very quick. Dead. All right, moving on. <clears throat> the Vita version, by the way, uh, Splunky. I, I said in a in a less chat uh, a little while ago that uh, Disgaea was one of the best uh, one of the best portable games I've ever played, and you know it, it is. Uh, I think this guy naturally lends itself very well to portable games, uh, but Splunky, my friends, is the best portable game of all time. It is perfectly, uh, it is perfect for for mobile gaming. I think gaming on the go, unless of course uh, I should also clarify uh, only for like you know long long drives or long uh, flights because if you uh, happen to get interrupted or you, you reach your destination and you you know you're you're done uh, you, you don't want to interrupt a bad a, a great game of Swanky. Uh, let's see should I get spike shoes I'll get spike shoes Ooh, look at all that gold down there gimme gimme oh there's a key somewhere Where is the oh, you son of a bitch! Ah, oh, that was just that was rude. Plain and simple. Unfortunately, we got a damsel, and we got a key. Let's see. No, I think we're good. Let's go. Uh, Mitch, as a Splunky pro like yourself, can you help me? What what do you need uh, help with in terms of, of Splunky? I would love to give you any tips I can. Where, where are you having trouble? Dead. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'll take that goal. Thank you very much. Was this a, a yeah? It's a snake pit. Didn't didn't realize it at first. Was not paying attention. Oh damn it! That was dumb. I 
I be getting to the Ice Caves uh, temple pretty consistently. Uh, hold on. Let's get this. And let's go this way first, since it looks like this is the wrong way to go. Oh, actually, this is the right way to go. Uh, I would like to find... I would like to find a damsel. Oh, shit! That was scary. I don't know what caused that. Uh, let's get this pot. Now! Bad snake. It's a snake in a pot. Snake in a pot, girl. It's my snake in a pot. Uh, so, I had been getting to the Ice, ice Caves Temple uh, pretty consistently. Until I had to bring the key back to the tunnel guy, and now I'm just fortunate if I made it to make it to the jungle. Uh, well, I, uh, I have a video on the Gamefront walkthrough channel on how not to suck at Spunky. Uh, in terms of getting through the, the mines, that should help you out a little bit. Um, even though it's kind of a demeaning name, uh, I do think it is a rather helpful video. Uh, honestly, I would say the best thing you can do is just really stock up on on good items uh, early on, as early on as you can. Those items will help out so, so much. And when I say good items, I usually mean uh, uh, spike shoes, climbing gloves, you know, something something for, for combat and something for platforming. That will do you very well. Right now, my spike shoes uh, are my, my combat weapon, and I would very much like to have climbing gloves or ropes or something. Also bombs. Bombs are really, really, really important. You should always have more than four bombs, if you can. Right now, I have not seen uh, bomb, so I'm not really been able to stock up right now. I really would like to use that thing for, for my, or use that altar to sacrifice my damsel, but I kind of need the health right now. I'm not comfortable with only two hearts. Well, hi there, Larts. L U L A U R T S. Welcome to the stream. I'm glad you can join us. Right now, we are currently playing uh, just a regular challenge or regular adventure mode of uh, Spunky. Uh, after this, we will do the daily challenge. This is kind of a practice run. Hearts don't mean anything, honestly. Like, hearts are important, uh, but they're. You know, you could you could do really well with just just two. You just gotta be really careful. And likewise, one mistake, and you know, like you said, you could have seven hearts, and uh, everything can just go go south. I'm gonna try to. Ah, never mind. I was gonna say I was gonna try to get the the ghosts to turn some of these things into diamonds, but screw it. Hey, yeah, dark dark levels are. Oh God! Speaking of dark levels, dark levels are the worst. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna light this first. And I'm gonna drop this here. And I want my pickaxe back. So what you can do right now, uh, Pen and Boyo, is kind of take notes on what I'm doing right now, and see if it helps you out with these dark levels in the in the temple or not in the temple in the jungle drop that down we're gonna drop this down your torch is your best friend dead that's where the spike shoes come in handy let's get rid of you I'm gonna drop this down kill you 
It's all about taking it very, very slowly. Drop it down again. Went down a little too far, but you saw the, uh, the frog that was stuck on that thing over there. One thing to know is that you can always get rid of water by using a pickaxe or a bomb. So if you just don't want to deal with it, just use a bomb. Oh god, there's a big guy. There's a big frog there. That's not good. But fortunately... Uh, there we go, that works. Oh, okay, got it. I don't want to leave my... My pickaxe. There it is. Thank you very much. All right, made it through. I don't think it did. I think I hit the. Whoa, whoa, whoa. that's a dangerous spike there. Uh, I don't think the the torch does one hit kill those uh, those frogs. I think I hit them with something else first. ropes and while well, normally I would get that cape uh, I am trying to get to the black market so I would like to save my money die Always drop your pickaxe when you're trying to deal with those, uh, or at least that's what I like to do. I drop my pickaxe to deal with the bats when I can. Stupid fucking monkeys. Wish I had climbing gloves. Now! Get off me! Stealing all my monies. I work hard for my money. So hard for my money. All right, let's see what we can. Ooh, there's the uh, the black market nearby. Leave him there. Right over here. All right. Oh, I lost my pickaxe. Oh well. Oh, let's just go. All right. Welcome to the black market. I'm always scared of the black market, honestly. I, I just know that I just I have I always have this horrible feeling that something will happen. Uh, uh, an orange frog will, you know, will blow up the shop or something, or I'll do something stupid and just ruin everything. Go this way, because we know that there's nothing too bad over here. And we'll kill you. Let's get some bombs. Kill you. Feel comfortable with that frog being there. Whoa! All right, let's go. Got what we needed.
God, I wish this was a daily challenge. I'm doing pretty damn good. Not to jinx it, but... <laughs> Not to jinx it. That jinxes it every single fucking time. Why do I even say that? Like I said, it, it's all about uh, not viewing it, not having that much life uh, as that bad of a scenario. Honestly, I, I'm more worried when I have a uh, few bombs than I am when I have little life. Whoops. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Spike shoes, baby. God, this is gonna... I, I don't feel safe here, so... I'm gonna use a bomb. Get rid of that thing. When in doubt, just bomb. That's what, That's another reason why having bombs is so important. Because if you're conserving them, then you're you're not using them. If you're not using them, uh, they're not useful. It's pretty, pretty simple, right? Oh yeah. Go away. Oh, you son of a bitch. Where is the damsel in this level? There she is. Dead. a heart gained a heart not too bad and the, the good thing is is that even if you're going for uh, the uh, the city of gold and, and hell like I usually am wow that was scary uh, once you get to the the Moai statue uh, you're gonna get four hearts regardless of how many hearts you have anyway Should I go for the jetpack? I have seven bombs. I guess I could. I think I got him. Nope, I didn't. Ah, damn it. See, uh, the the problem with getting the jetpack is that I don't have... I don't have sticky bombs. Okay, wait for those. Come on! Got him! Ha ha ha! Yes, I'm a bitch. Oh, I hope it didn't fall all the way down. There it is. Perfect. I wish I had sticky bombs. I wish I had sticky bombs. Alright, let's go. Alright, there's some more statue. So, the goal right now is to make as much money as possible before having to kill myself. By the way, having if you can get a jetpack early on, do it. <laughs> having a jetpack is basically like uh, a guarantee that you will be able to get to 
the temple as long as you play well. Oh, I gotta remember that those guys do not die to whips. Alright. I think we are good to die. Let's, uh, what do you say we do it by explosion? A boom! I told you the story of uh, one time where I got to that part and, you know, I, I died, I went inside the Moai statue, and then I went into the level before the, the head jet dropped, and I fucked it all up. Fucked it all up royally. So, uh, Mr. Shopkeeper, if you might uh, be so kind as to show up so I can get some bombs, I would be most appreciative. Alright, I'll be back for you, dog. Don't worry. Whoa, hey! Knock that off. You are not going to take this away from me. Oh, yes! Paste! I needed that. I needed that. Uh, hey, Ice, Ice Road Darko. Greetings, Mexico City. And I am glad you're playing Spunky on the Vita because I love Spunky on the Vita. It was thanks to Spunky on the Vita that I got through my, uh, my, uh, journey to Seattle without much complaint. Alright, let's go. I have no idea what that means to switch from OLED, OLED to LCD, <laughs> so I don't care. Sorry, mister, I'm gonna jump on your head. I remember when I first started playing this game, I thought the, the compass was like the best uh, item in the game. And the, you know, this, the compass isn't bad, but you know, it's definitely not what I would consider a, uh, a top tier item in this game. <gasps> oh! Whoa, 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 that was scary. I thought he was going to punch me. Usually they, they sock you. No, I'm not going to risk a bomb. I need two bombs to take care of, uh, to take care of Mr. Mr. Jackal. Mr. Nubis. Gotta be extra careful in the... Okay, there's Anubis. Let's see if we can get him up here. It's gonna be tough. What I also need is something to throw down to trigger that arrow trap. This will serve. There we go. If I can just get down there. Oh, I think he got hit by something. Oh, yes! I think Anubis might have, uh, might have gotten killed by that. Nope, not yet. But I can do it. I can do it. I can get him to be killed by that thing. I can get him to kill himself on that Tiggy Trap. Come on! You know you want to die. 
you. There we go. <laughs> you stupid little bitch. That's what you get for fucking with me. Oh, come on. You can drop down there. Okay. Looks like it already... That's right, it already fired. I'm a little worried about that. Okay, looks like it's not gonna go. Good. Good, good, good. Dead? Ugh. I'm not happy about this at all. You know what? Bomb. And... Go. Now the problem is I'm gonna get to the City of Gold, no problem. Just gotta find the exit. But the problem is going to be I have no bombs to get the, the Book of the Dead. See if we can lure that mummy over here. Come on, mummy. Come on, mummy. Oh, a little further. There you go. That's a good mummy. That's a good mummy. Come on. A little further. Good mummy. Where is the City of Gold entrance? Where is the City of Gold entrance? There it is. Ah, <laughs> stupid teleport. Alright, well, let's, uh, hey there. Da, 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 the dead, the dead. Let's get my damsel in distress. All right, let's do it. Oh wait, the, okay, this is this is the right door. <laughs> I was about to say, oh man, imagine if I unlocked the door and then went into the door leading to Olmec. City of Gold. This is my first time making it on uh, the PC version. Oh, happy day! Take that. There is the book. Alright, I'm, I'm still not used to taking care of, uh, of Red Anubis here. Come on. Oh, fuck, I thought I would be able to... So you can whip him to death, huh? Okay, so far so good. Look at all those red skellies. There we go, got it. I got this. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> that was a scary arrow trap right there. Whew. 
So the Book of the Dead allows you to enter Hell, but you have to uh, beat Olmec, Olmec in a very specific way. And this is going to be tough because I have no bombs. Hopefully, I mean, usually you can get pretty fortunate with all the things up here. Not getting very many bombs! Dead? Bombs? Good? Pickaxe? Good. I can use that to get this one without wasting any bombs. And I can also use this to dig. To dig. Simple as that. So we can use this to dig straight down and try to see where the, the exit is that I need to hit. Not over here. So in that case, why don't we get Olmec over here. Oh, the book munches were the... I didn't know that. I didn't know that the book was actually a hint to let you know where, uh, where the exit was. There it is. Okay. Alright, so that's dead. That's done. Duh. Start bombing. Let's get rid of this thing so that when I bomb, I don't get hit by that. That would be rather annoying. I know I'm wasting a lot of bombs, I'm sorry. I don't get to hell very often. Alright. Okay, let's see what we can do here. for me <laughs> this is I, I this is my first time uh, really making to hell on on camera and it's not part of the daily challenge god damn it all right lots of vampires not a lot of bombs that's not good this won't hit me over here let's go over here I know that there are succubi in this, so I am not falling for the charms of damsels. Oh look, we already made it to the exit. Alright. Let's go. Whoa, that was scary. I don't need capes, I got jetpack. <laughs> could not could not care less about capes.
Whoa, come on! That should have hit you. It's a sucker by. Don't trust it. Oh, that was close. Okay. 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 We made it. Only two bombs. Only two bombs. This isn't good. I need to find bombs. This is uh, a much harder looking level right here. I think I'm going to have to deal with that vampire. Ugh. Oh yes! I dealt with the vampire. Wasted a bomb, but I dealt with him. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, we can get that. Ah, oh, spike shoes. Don't need them. It's a trap. Oh, you bitch! Suck your boy! Yama's throne. I have no idea how to kill Yama, guys. No idea how to kill Yama. Can I kill these guys by jumping on them? Can I kill these guys by jumping on them? I don't even know. Okay, I think I can. Oh no, the bomb box! Oh yes, bomb box. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't like the look looks of those spikes, so I'm gonna get rid of them. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, you bitch, and your fucking... Whatever they are. Oh, okay. So, what am I supposed to do? I don't even know what I'm supposed to do! Someone tell me what I'm supposed to do. Use a rope to hang him from under the cover. Put a rope under the pillar. And then bomb him? What do you mean? Under the pillar. I'm sorry guys, it's hard to read the comments right now. Bomb his face, place a rope under a pillar so you get cover. Under a pillar. Oh, damn it. Sorry, it's not gonna not gonna happen this time, unfortunately. I need to watch a video on how to do that. But hey, that was pretty awesome, right? 